something massive just um, had hit me here, and uh, this is going to be a segment, obviously, within this next episode. Um, which station are we tuning into? Uh, we are actually, it's such, it's such a great metaphor. We all have radios and televisions. We've had this technology for uh, many years, at least 100 years even, especially radio. Um, in science, we know that uh, we don't see everything that can be seen in this realm, and we cannot hear everything that can be heard. Uh, there's frequencies and, and uh, spectrums that are beyond us. So when it comes to our eyes, there's visible light, and then you have other light that we can't see with our eyes, such as X-rays, gamma rays, infrared. Um, uh, we can't see this, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. They do exist, um, but we cannot see it with our natural eye. Same with the frequency range. We hear from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, um, but there are frequencies that are below 20 hertz, uh, zero all the way up, to, um, or one hertz all the way up to 20, as well as beyond 20,000. Uh, 100,000 whatever and you can hear this actually those radio frequency bands are up, up around the 100,000 200,000 etc um, so we have TV signals we have radio signals this always proves that dimensions are within dimensions that we have not full access to everything that is uh, here um, so in that sense which radio station or which station or what are we tuning into our being? We are also uh, receivers and senders. We send out signals, but we also receive signals. And so the fact is a lot of people are probably in the negative spectrum and you can tune into doubt. You can tune into fear. You can tune into horror. You could tune into uh, chaos and, and evil things and wicked uh, TV and wicked people and all these evil stories in the world you can tune into that and when you tune into that that's exactly where your spirits going to be that's exactly how you're going to feel that's exactly how you're going to carry yourself and you will become that because all you tune into is that a state of doubt a state of fear a state of chaos but you can also tune into gratitude you can tune into acceptance you can tune into charity you can tune into love you can tune into heavenly principles you can tune into to the light so what's profound to me is that this is something that we were never taught but it's something that is so vital because as we pro proceed through this and progress through this timeline where there's so much chaos actually how it's so much more important uh, how we're tuning ourselves so we have to attune ourselves to the higher frequencies, to the good things, to the things that bring light, peace, joy. Um, we have to. You cannot tune in to the dark side. The dark side is going to create a monster out of anything and yourself included. It's necessary that we take this serious. And so for all the light beings and the ones who are going to hear this message, this is a meditation and a chant that I'm going to say forever that well, we have to always be tuning in to these higher frequencies. We don't need to listen to news anymore. Uh, we don't we don't need that. We're at a time where I've actually got to a point when on the, I see a pendulum. As um, I heard from one of my elders one time, my I'll say my mother actually, she talked about like, you know, the, the world goes through pendulums where basically, you know, from one extreme then they'll say oh that's bad and then they go to another extreme um the way i see the internet i kind of see the internet these days actually as a cancer people are so you talk about jumping off a cliff everybody's jumping off the same cliff it's called the internet let me put all my information let me put all my photos and, and my videos and my personality let me just put myself out there thinking that that's normal but it's not normal we're coming to a time where we're being herded into this uh, nonsense. It's going to be controlled by AI. It's also to track us. It's to monitor us. It's all about more chaos um, that people just can't see this. And so the best way to be is actually to be less on the internet. It's to be more concerned with your own community, your own local, local area, your own family and friends, and nurturing that attuning uh, energy into harmony of love of uh, charity righteousness and, and good deeds and gratitude as i said um joyfulness um all the good tuning in that is so necessary um it really just hits me now that the, the meditation has to continually be that that we have to continue to 
wake up every single day and say, which frequency am I going to tune in today? Because when we follow and become victims of a society and, and, and just ignore things, but still will watch the television, still will turn on the radio and we hear the mainstream and it's all doom and gloom and this is happening and climate change and then this and that. And they make up all these things and wars. They create all of this stuff, by the way. OK, they create climate change, they create wars, they're creating all this, the problems, problem, reaction, solution, Hegelian dialectic. So the point is that if you live that way without even knowing what I just said, that you don't know how to tune in, but all you're going to be is constantly guided. You're going to be constantly guided by these evil forces to put you in states of doubt, to put you in states of oppression, depression. This is, this is, is it, this, that's the death cycle that, or that's the death path to go down to destruction. So as Zentrano Radio and as Zentrano Music and as the individual and the soul and the light being I am, today's the day we say no more. Today's the day where I rise up and I say, I don't tune into that. I don't tune into the depression. I don't tune in to the stupid uh, broadcast. I don't tune in to the evil that they're telling us to do, to oppress us, to just stress us, not de-stress us, but to stress us, to screw with us. I tune now into my own frequency. I tune now into the heavenly principles. Luke, I love this thing. Uh, Luke chapter 17, verses 21. Um, Nor shall they say, look here, look there. For look, the kingdom of Elohim or the reign of Elohim is in your midst. It's right here, right now. I'm tuning into that. I'm tuning into love. I'm tuning into charity. Every single day I have to ask myself, where am I going to my, tune myself? How, what am I going to focus on? What am I going to do? These are individual responsibilities. As we get to come into adulthood, we have to now make a choice. Because when you're, you're, when you're young and you're impressionable, a lot of times things is just a joke and you don't take it serious because you don't really understand things. And that's the thing. Why, you know, when we're young, we don't understand anything. So everything's okay. We're just learning. Okay, okay. But there comes a point when you get older, you know. And it gets a lot, it gets very taxing. Life becomes hard and the endurance becomes hard. You can't tune into the negativity anymore. You can't tune into all that because what it does is it's going to destroy you. It's going to destroy you. And I've already felt some of that energy and I'm asking myself and I'm changing myself and I'm changing my own frequency to tune into the righteousness, tune into heaven only, tune into the light. I have eyes to see. I'm grateful that I have eyesight. I'm grateful that I can hear. I'm grateful I can move about. Some people can't even move. Some people are paralyzed. Some people can't even see physically. Some people cannot hear. How grateful and how how uh, we we take things for such gra uh, things for granted when we you know don't reflect on the, the the benefits and the favor and the things that have been given to us. They're these are pots of gold and, and riches, but we just going to take it for granted and then we're going to go along with the, the, the narrative of evil, of nonsense, of distraction, of depression, of evil, just, just, just oppression because that's what the mainstream is doing. That's what the governments are doing. They're not helping anybody, you know. So this is a call to action and a call to faith and a call to the light kingdom Time is of the essence and time is exactly now as the scripture also says, well, me and my household say, choose you this day because me and my household, whom you shall serve to me and my household, we will serve the most high, the Lord, our Elohim. And so we're choosing this day to tune into heaven. We're choosing this day to tune into the goodness. And that's the only way of life, period. So great snippet. I'm going to add this to a podcast episode. My next one, I think, is episode 33. And I'll just do a splice. Peace and shalom. So something strong has hit me here. It's about this law of attraction. And I remember hearing the law of attraction, like, probably a long time ago, maybe a couple of decades ago or something, when I was young, even as a child. Um... And then as you get older, like the people that were speaking on that thing, I don't know how spiritual they were, so I, I don't really like that terminology. But 
the concept of being able to manifest, you know, as a music creator, I woke up today with this melody within my spirit. The melody came and I recorded it and it sounds like so if, if I make that song it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hit, but it's gonna be a great expression of creativity of myself, of my soul. And so it begs the question, how did that melody melody come to me? Was it because of external frequencies? Um, you know, my room is fairly quiet, so I don't know. It must have just come from my soul or the higher power that downloaded it into me. And all of a sudden, I have this new melody that's going to be a nice song. And it's the same concept, this whole supposed, you could say, law of attraction. But it's, I would rather say it's more like manifest, manifest, manifesting and manifestation, coming into true self, true light, knowing that we are co-creators because the creator created first. So then I'm his son or daughter, and therefore I must create along with him. And every single day presents an opportunity of what can I co-create today? So I add to this place called the universe. I'm not... I'm not taking away from anything. I'm adding to it. He's allowed us to add to this universe. So we can plant. We can grow in so many ways. We can do so many things. But you have to know thyself. This is why knowing yourself is so important. Because when we don't. And we're constantly f like focusing on this external stuff. And because of the, the maybe the past even 50 years. Especially with television. Television has, has made us want to be somebody else and the way the media has portrayed look at celebrities look at or, or belittle us look at the government Oh, please government help me and, and the whole matrix system is always to belittle us to keep us lower and less than It always wants to make us little little and like oh we can't do it We need you government. We need you celebrities to teach us once you get out of that That's the low vibration when you resonate on a higher frequency and if a celebrity like Kevin Hart walked by me and hung up with me and my mom and, and some of the people who are resonating at this high frequency, he would walk away with like, wow, those are some really good people. Those are some really good people. You got, you guys have some great spirit. And he would idolize us. In fact, instead of us idolizing him because, oh, he's a celebrity. Because, see, we've been lied to. The whole system is a fraud. The whole situation of culture we've been fed is just all nonsensical. It is an inversion. Everything is inverted. So we have to get into the co-creation state. We have to get into the manifestation state. But I can only and then only attract the things that are meant to be to, uh, for me in my path when I'm um, dedicated and focused and, and aligned and in tune with my path, which is my gifts, my calling and everything that I've been given. All of a sudden, if I start working on myself and I start making myself a better person, oh, I'm good at doing this. So if it's analytics or if it's creation, if it's um, whatever it is, running businesses and or connecting people, and I start and that's my gift, and I'm and I'm tuning in. All of a sudden, the the circumstances and the the energies and the revolving the revolving energies that come around me are starting to elevate me and put me in the place where now I'm in a space where I am manifesting and things that I've always desired are starting to come into my life whether that is true love whether that is finding your your career path finding your purpose whether that is uh, even having enough to survive and not be stressed because of the world and oh we got to do this we got to do that when we in this low vibration state because that's what the system wants us to be it's like Oh, I have to hustle. I need to get this money. I got to go to school so I can get a job and get it. It's all programming and indoctrination. We already know this. So we have to wake up out of that low vibration. See, Zenternal Music and Zenternal Radio, we are not that. We've never been that. We've had to go through the process of life and to get to the place where we are now, where now we can manifest because now we're in tune with thyself. Now I've created something that is my expression the sole expression of the divine being that i am that the most high created me to be so that's how zentral music was born in the first place by the way you know that's an ex soul expression that came from my soul from my spirit and my light path but what is your light path what is your destiny and you have to ask yourself these questions stop with the gossip stop with the low vibration now i get it it's just the funny thing is we're all habitual creatures which means we like we like habits we like doing the same patterns 
but enough sometimes the pattern gets too toxic so if you're always in those negative uh, places and you feel like it's, it's holding you back it's because it's time to elevate it's, it's time to release those patterns and now it's time to go to the higher level but the only way you can do that the only way you can become the co-creator and know thyself is to know yourself and know what your gifts are what can i do what can i what what, what was i given in order to be be me and these are questions people have to ask themselves so that's where we're at right now i'm in a great space because co-creation is everything being in a tune with yourself is so important this vibration is a high resonance and a high the high resonance is straight angelic energy and this high energy is going to carry me carry me through life it's also going to keep me on the path where i need to be and all people circumstances and things will come around me at the exact moment it needs to be because of the manifestation that is perfect versus being in a place of constant stress distress and fear of negativity again low vibrations that keep you enslaved right we are eternal beings do not fear leaving the flesh do not fear that because we are eternal beings we have to go through this this place was the testing ground this place was the ground to awaken the spirits this is where it's where this is where we at so now you go back now to the to the book of revelation and we see oh so this is the time the wheat and the tares the harvest all of this is coming forth this is getting ready for this timeline it's getting ready for the shift the consciousness the energy the resonance is all taking place but you have to be what in tune and know thyself. Praise be to the king and praise be to the universe for awakening the light souls and the light beings because that's what we are. We are co-creators. We are love. We are light. And it's the only way of being. And so this is Zenternal Radio, another super massive gem and a super massive um, insight that is necessary to bring us to where we need to be and this i pray will be a benefit to somebody who is going to listen um because for us over here like david says in the in in, in the scriptures we're going to serve the lord we're going to be on our path i'm going to be zentrona music zentrona radio is already on the path so people please wake up and and get on the path be in tune with thyself resonate higher and ask do those do the hard work do the hard work which is the research the in inward looking reflection knowing yourself and building up and then just start to see the manifestation just just start to see all the things taking place because we're doing the work and we're doing the right work not the evil work and the low vibrations we don't want low vibrations remember violence sex drugs and violence these things are come from the devil and the distortion the illusion of these things hold you down like a vice grip they hold you captive like slavery and we don't want that so yeah praise be to the most high um and yes yeah, quickly speaking on slavery we actually it's july 31st i just heard something on the radio talking about emancipation day so august 1st very powerful stuff harriet tubman you know frederick Douglass, people who actually made a difference in setting the captives free they did that in their time it's only a max of what about 200 years ago even a little bit less 150 years whatnot you know these are some great people that existed really changed the, the world and when people down these people because i've heard that even other blacks is disrespectful it's disgusting yet again that's more low vibration let's focus on the high vibration the fact that they they helped in freeing people we want to be free right but we have to fight for that we have to be that and we have the only way we can be that is to know thyself the low vibration is holding us down the low habits the patterns all of those things have to shift but you have to make the choice in order to say i will shift this pattern no longer are we going to participate in the low vibrations so co-create praise be to the most high salam and shalom zen radio